Hello guys, it's me Nanova Sweden here and I am just here to talk to you about uh, my mess. <laughs> a little bit of what I've been up to and a little bit of my mess and a little bit of junk journaling and a little bit of, you know, thoughts, ideas and frustration over a body that doesn't want to do what I want it to do. Yeah, so where shall we start? I'm eating cake and for some reason I have two pieces. I took this piece and I was about to sit down and got sidetracked by something and then I went and got a second piece and took a bite of it and now I have two pieces. So yeah, two pieces of cake today. And it's so yummy. <laughs> okay. So what have I been up to? Is my life a bit better? No, it's not. But actually, sitting down right now and about to talk to you guys about all the stuff just makes me feel a bit better, actually. Because I've been feeling like crap for a while. And on Wednesday, I was going to be good, girl. And I took the stuff to the recycling that we talked about. Um, and all the bags and everything and of course I hurt my back so my back is out and I can't sit for long I can't stand for long I can't walk for long I can't lay down for long so sleep is a few hours here and there maybe uh, level of focus zero maybe something like that I I don't know what it's if it's like this with you guys, if your body ever do stuff that you don't want it to do or the other way around that you want to do stuff and the body doesn't want to work with you. But for me, whenever something isn't working, like I had my knee, I had my hips, I had my back, I had my shoulder, I have yada 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 yada. Uh, and also struggle with uh, exhaustion disorder. And when... I'm at the point where I can't do the things I need to do and I struggle to do the things I want to do. That's taking a toll on my self-confidence for some reason. I feel completely worthless, you know? Um, and because today I first tried to do some schoolwork and I just couldn't focus because, you know, Reading, I have paper books, so I can do like reading anywhere. I can stand up, I can sit down, I can walk around, I can lay down, I can, you know, read any position, but my brain isn't there. Because I was like reading and I was going, I had a printout of the questions that I'm supposed to send in. Oh, I'm not supposed to send in the questions, I'm supposed to send in the answers to the questions. But anyway, I was reading and I thought, oh, this is what they mean, and I was going to write about it, but just, you know, I had the book to one side, and then I had the paper, and I just took the pen up, and I was going to write, and I don't remember anything. It's just blank, and I go back, I read, oh, yeah, that, that was it, and I go back to the paper, uh, I, I just, and now I'm, I'm a bit of a mess at the moment, because <laughs> I've been... I've been all over. Uh, so yeah, studying doesn't work and um, I really need to, but it doesn't work. I can't. And I have a doctor's appointment on Friday. Today we have Sunday, but I have a doctor's appointment on Friday for a lot of issues that I have. Uh, so fingers crossed that will help and I will get the help I need and stuff to move on. Anyway, bad back feeling bad trying to do all sorts of stuff I try to vacuum because if I, if I can't do school at least I can try and you know fix my house but I try to vacuum but you know I can't bend down I can't vacuum under things like that like the furniture back there I can't bend over so I can vacuum underneath and I just it just made me feel even more worthless you know I can't do I can't even vacuum my own floor you know that's that's the state I get into when um, I have pain and aches and my mood is so bad I'm so grumpy I'm so annoyed with everything 
and mainly it is because I feel completely worthless and in my brain I know that's a stupid thing because I'm not worthless I'm just exhausted I'm stressed and I have a lot of pains that doesn't make me less of a person but you feel like less of a person because you can't do even normal stuff like vacuuming like doing dishes like you know just normal stuff just you can't read a sentence and turn over to the paper and write it down you know you feel but everyone else can do it so why can't i you know that sort of thing and i know it's stupid i know i shouldn't think like that but you know that's the thing i get stuck with so in order for me to move on to get out of that because it, it, it's a downward spiral you try one thing doesn't work so you feel bad about yourself and you try something else and that doesn't work so you feel even worse and you know blah, 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 you keep plummeting down to the bottom so to break that uh, spiral that circle that that downward slope I think I need to find something that I can do so I need something I can do sitting out standing lying down you know maybe not even walking but you know something I can do or maybe something I can do in like short intervals without sort of damaging it so I try to do some laundry uh, I don't fold or stuff I put mainly everything on hangers and just put in the water but in and out of the washing machine and in and out of the dryer it's not worse than that and I can do it just slowly but you know I can do it but then the washing machi machine started screaming that means I need to open it in the back and clean it out and and I can't do that with a bad back so I'm stuck again and I was like F this you know you just get so frustrated so i figured uh i need to do something fun something that doesn't require a lot of brain activity for me i should say uh something that i can do uh without having to focus like a hundred percent something i can do in a lot of different positions hi uh, um, and I had on top of everything I had a snowstorm this weekend so you know it hasn't been nice to be outside for walks either I have been doing them because I mean I have this little cloth ball and I have a play Pokemon Go still so I have to walk so I was thinking, I was walking around, I was trying to find something to do because if I don't do anything, I feel even worse. And I know that about me. That's how I function. Uh, so I was trying, I have some library books here. I tried to read something for fun and nope, not enough focus for that. I kept drifting off thinking about 50 million other things. I tried to watch a bit of YouTube, but then I ended up sitting down and I can't sit. This is the worst. Sitting down, like just on a chair, is the worst position for me because I hurt so bad afterwards. It doesn't hurt so much right when I'm sitting, but I can't do anything else. Anyway, so. Uh, so by this point, I have tried doing schoolwork. I have tried doing vacuuming. I have tried doing laundry. I have tried... I have tried to move around some boxes, empty boxes, so they didn't weigh much, but just, you know, in some places I had to do like a twist movement, and my back said, no, not having it, and I was getting more and more frustrated, I even had to crawl around on the floor to be able to clean the litter boxes, and, you know, I just felt like, yeah. is this really what I'm supposed to be? I'm 45, and I feel 95, and worth most worthless person in the universe that's how I felt so I started I went into you know the shelves where I have some craft stuff and I picked this one up and I was thinking maybe I should do some journaling because I have some pages in here that are half done like this and I have some pages that I really don't like that like this 
and I was first thinking maybe I should redo this but then again nah it's kind of nice to see how you evolve how you develop and this one is coming loose so I need to glue it glue it down uh, so I was thinking maybe I should continue with these pages but you know it just didn't really quite feel like oops <laughs> Um, this is the thing when you back is out. I can't pick it up. I need one of those, you know, thingies that you just pull and it has like this claw that just... Cause that's down there now. Okay, leave it there. Forget it. <laughs> and then I have this. And this one, I never got too far with and I don't know why. And it ended up in like a bottom pile of a pile of a pile. You know, where you have... Like boxes and piles and boxes and piles and this one was on the bottom this old book com it's an old computer book let me see advanced <laughs> oh my god it's 2000 it's 18 year old computer book and i was doing journaling in it and my idea with it was to use only free stuff the only two bought things i was allowed to use was well no that's not the right word but you know I was allowed to use glue and I was allowed to use gesso but no like regular paints no chipboards no regular bought craft supplies I mean string like I have used here there's a thread actually uh, sewing thread um, is okay because it's something that most people have in their home or can really really cheaply get or like if you have some old broken clothes you can always pull out a string or two so uh, a little piece of you know a little wood chip and you can find that outside um and stuff like that but i never even finished this page because it took quite a long time to try and i was doing other things and i got sidetracked and it ended up in the bottom and i didn't even finish the first page in it so I figured, uh, maybe I should do this, but I, I didn't quite feel it. Then I, oh, here, hang on. Oh, reaching over is so nice. So then I remembered, hey, I did this coffee stained paper a while ago in February, Sunday. I don't remember when I did it, but it was in February because I remember talking about it in my, in one of my decluttering vlogs. Um, and I figured, ah, maybe I should make my junk journal. I've been talking about it. I've been, you know, collecting stuff for it. I have been, I just haven't got around to it. So my first thought was to use, I think I even had that in the junk journal, you know, in the decluttering video. I was just going to use this old book cover and just fold these, uh, coffee stained paper in two and like make little sticks and in it and you know like a little notebook junk journal and sewing some lace and stuff I need to drink a little bit mm. good coffee um so I started I started off uh let's see remember this map that I made I took a copy from the back of this atlas so it's a copy of this and I took the copy on um, one of these coffee stained pages now the thing I don't know if it's the same with a laser printer as it is with a inkjet pr printer um, when because coffee stained paper are they're not flat they're not like see this edge they're like wobbly so um whenever there's a rising especially at the end and the beginning of the page you get this sort of ink blobs but anyway so i made one stick i think you call them stick in english too like where you have this uh, bunch of folded pages and you sew through them like you can see in uh, uh, this one i think you can see it clearly uh, so you have like yeah, look like that. Let's see if you can see. So here you can see, like you have a bunch of folded pages and they're like stitched in. I don't know if you call them stick or stitch or whatever you call them. 
But anyway, this was one, and need two hands for a second. So this is my first idea, and I figured I wanted some more stuff to copy apart from that atlas. So I started to look around for my old books. So I have this one. This is um, House Remedies and Good Advice from, let's see if I can find a year, uh, 19, 1934 and uh, I found a fun page so I did a copy of that and I came up with where did I put it? oh over there Hang on. so I took a copy of it let's see where I put it there so this is the copy I took so this one is on the outside and then just regular coffee stain paper on the inside. And I have, I've used this line paper. I've tried to have one in each stick, but I hadn't made enough. And something is going on. Fire! No, it isn't a fire. That's bunny. Hey. Bunny. Hey, doing it, bunny. You're a dog. Okay, I'm mixing English and Swedish here. Anyway, so... um. It's, as you can see, it doesn't really fill up the cover, so I needed more. So I did, uh, what did I do next? I did this, uh, which is this. I found this old book. This is a book uh, in English. I'm going to move my cake away. Uh, look at this. Isn't this pretty? Can you see? Yeah, you can see. How pretty is this? I love this. It's not a big book. And I'm sorry, I have some ink and some paint and stuff. Uh, so, a life of Linnaeus. And Linnaeus was a Swedish botanist. And um, so I really like this first page. So I took that one and copied it. And I took one copy on regular white, regular white copy paper. And then I ripped out the image and took a copy, put it back on uh, there so this is the copy where I put the book in the coffee machine in the printer and this is a ripped image that this image that I took out you know I took a copy on a regular white copy paper and then I copied it on 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 some coffee stained paper that's what I did yeah did that make sense I hope so so that's a third one. So then I started to count the pages because, as you can see, since the papers aren't straight, oh, the sun is making this funny. Um, so since the paper isn't straight, it was already starting to open up, and I felt this was a lot of pages. I wanted more pages, so I figured maybe if I flatten this out a bit more. This is not that soda in there, it's just my water. So let's put it over there. There. So um so I figured uh I wanna have more. I want more. Yeah. So I started to look around even more, and that's when I found hang on a couple of pictures from a book and I had that I had torn out and I just took yeah. That wasn't a good idea to hold it. Yeah, let's hold it like this. You can really see. I'm good at this. I'm good at this. I know I am. No, I'm not. Who am I trying to get? So, anyway. So, I just put them like this in the printer. And I printed it out on, again, coffee stain paper. All of this is coffee stain paper. So, that gave me oh, stick number. Oh, sorry. Stick number four. And now I can really tell this cover wasn't going to cut it, right? Because it's mine already. And I haven't put in any crop paper, and I haven't made any pockets, and I haven't put in any lace like I have. I have this vision in my head of what I, I mean, I don't have to do that, but I just have this vision in my head that that's what I want to do. Oops, hey. Go on <laughs> Yeah, I'm almost done. <laughs> Why should I listen to you? Um, 
so I started to you know look I have a lot of other covers so I found this that was hang on a second whoops that's uh, also kind of it's not too big this way so uh, and it's not too big this way so it's like it's not too different from this one but it has a lot thicker spine and of course that's going to be covered and I could actually see now that I can put some more sticks in there so next step was finding uh, I was finding these two books and these are kind of interesting this is oops yeah let's let's stop oh, that really hurt uh, the fast move, moves are not my thing uh who yeah um anyway um uh, moving on forget forget pain forget so this is swedish latin word book dictionary so um this one uh, it's from 1875 and the first part is a to j and then I was flipping through it because I figured, oh, this is, uh, it's broken. But uh, this is um, only, I'm trying to be careful with it so I have it piled up there so it won't break anymore. But it's really old and fragile and where is it? Isn't it? It should be here somewhere. Um... There we go. So here's the second part with K to Ö. Ö is the last letter of the Swedish alphabet. And this is made 1876. So it took him two years to make this whole dictionary. And it's broken over there. It was like that when I bought it. Um, so this is like... So I was thinking maybe... I, I wanted to use this somehow. Because look at that. Look at that font. It's so pretty. So pretty uh, but I was kind of afraid to open it and put it on the printer because I didn't want to break it anymore so I'm really careful you know so I tried to like print half half like that and half like that but then I realized since it's already broken over there that is already broken I could actually lay it flat so uh, after like three tries I laid it flat and this is came out this came out but I printed it on white paper because I was running out of coffee stain and I didn't quite like the look of this didn't quite fit with the other sticks that I made so mm, no I put this aside I don't throw it away and this is actually the first try I did with the two pictures that I showed you and I got seriously back black over here you know with the smudging so i tried to wipe it off and white paper is fragile <laughs> in case you didn't notice white paper is fragile so it broke i'm sorry the sun is really doing a number on me here so i kept looking for other books and then i found this one and i love this one scandinavian folklore and it's from 18 1896 Oh yeah, we can focus. So it's Scandinavian folklore, illustrations of the traditional beliefs of the northern peoples. And I started reading it, and it's pretty funny. I actually have a part that I'm thinking of reading, but I see I can already. I've already been speaking too much. Anyway, so I found this thing with trolls and giants, and I thought that was kind of cute. So I printed that one out. The thing is, page forty-one is. At the beginning of the stick and page 40 like 40 is at the back of it so it's like backwards but I, I don't have it so you can read it it's there for prettiness <laughs> is that even a thing so yeah so that gave me where did I put my book there. so that gave me stick number five and I figured five sticks Come on guys, we can do another, right? So here we have five and I figured, eh, maybe I can do one more, you know? 
let's do six. Let's do six. So I did this. Let's see if we can open it up. Yeah, so I did this. And these are two old postcards. Let's see if I can find them. Uh, I found this one. She's from 1878. Um, anyway. Uh, and I have some fun old postcards here. I don't know how old these are though. I can't find a year on it. It only says Swedish, made in Sweden, sort of. Um, but it's kind of, they're kind of fun. Uh, I have this one. They're kind of fun, and it's kind of rough paper, like thick, like cardstock paper, and not. It has a really matte finish. I like those. And so I was thinking about those maybe, but I can't find out the year that they made, so I wasn't sure. Uh, then I found this, and this is probably like 60, 70, something like that. Can't find a year on this either, only that it's made in Switzerland. Um, and I actually, I, I like postcards like this with like dolls and stuff posing like in real scenes and I have like children's storybooks too with um, dolls acting you know the story is written like one is of a little um, little Santa a little gnome and uh, there is a doll of this little gnome in the story that is acting out uh, it's a picture book and um, it's acting out the story and I kind of like that so then I kept on looking because I wasn't too sure, too happy with it. Didn't quite fit for me. And I found this. This is actually new. Uh, this is not old. But this one looked old. and um, But it's in color, so I doubt that. I mean, I can't really tell how old it is. Only that it's a Christmas card. So I don't know. So I was like thinking about it. I was looking through these old postcards and nothing is old enough. And here is one of the pictures that I use. But then I figured it's for myself. I'm not going to sell this. And these are, these are also in the same like matte paper like those funny ones. And um, I can't find years on them. Unfortunately. And here's another one, you know, with a, they have like dolls and puppets and stuff posing. Make a little scene. Uh, so they take photo. I like that. I really like that. This one is also pretty old, but again, no year. So I have no idea how old this is. But I like it. And it has a really fun texture. I don't know if I can make it see it. See that it's kind of. Can you see that? So it has kind of fun texture. And now I can't find the postcard I actually used. Oh, here. So here's one of them. And this is my favorite. I'm going to scan this one because I love it. I love it. I'm going to scan it so I can have it on the computer because I really love this. Uh, I, I'm a sucker for uh, pensies and and uh, violets and all of this type of flowers i love them so much uh, i love also spring flowers like um i don't know the name of any of these actually in english at the moment i should know them but you know just the names and words are out flying somewhere i'm trying to find the last this postcard but you know it's sort of the same texture as this, and as you can see, there's nothing on the back, not where it's done, not no year, no nothing, and it was the same with this one. So anyway, I thought they were pretty, and the sort of spring and the flowers. So they're not black and white. I was thinking maybe I should print it in black and white, but yeah, I just wanted some color in there. So that's what I ended up doing. So those are the six. Six sticks I have at the moment, and I'm actually thinking of 
changing the cover again because look at this if I let go that's happening and I still want to do some Nick the books mix she used a sewing machine and she sew stuff in and I want to try that I haven't done that before I used to do a lot of junk journaling but I haven't used um, when I used fabric I used glue uh, same thing when I use like lace and stuff I use glue to put it in uh, but you know I uh, hmm. I also need my sewing machines that are in the other house that I'm gonna make bed and breakfast draw. I just need funding so guys um oh and this is another fun thing I don't know if I showed this uh, these are See if we can open it for one hand. Yeah, men's handkerchiefs, and it's like original package, and it's not really in a bad shape. I mean, it has a bit of scuffs on it, but I don't know how old this is. I have no idea. This is what it looks like in the back. No idea how old it is, but I like the picture. I don't agree to fox hunting, but it, the picture is nice. Anyway, um, <laughs> so this is my book at the moment, so we'll see where I'm going with this, because now I've been sitting for a while and I can really feel it in my back. I was going to read you a little episode here that is, um, oh, that's, the, that's where I put it. <laughs> Guys, I just found the postcard that I was looking for. It's a bookmark. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this folklore book, I was going to read a bit from it, but, um. I've been blabbing for 30 minutes again, and uh, all we have to show for it is this, a half-finished junk journal, and I feel like I have to get back on my feet now and start walking around again, because my back doesn't like me. Nope. My back doesn't like me one bit. Besides, I'm almost out of coffee and it's cold and I haven't eaten my cake. So, uh, I'm going to let you guys go now and let me know if you want to see me finishing this, if you want to see me do this, or if you just want to see it uh, when it's finished. Uh, I might end up changing my mind about the cover again. I won't use this because it's too white, too creamy. I can't do that. I guess I could cover it, but it's so pretty and nice. I probably... Make something for a friend with this. Uh, I like green. I'm a sucker for green. I absolutely love green. Maybe I should use a green cover. Maybe I should use a green cover. What do you guys think? Uh, recycling at its best. Hey, look at that. Look at that. That looks better. And it's green. That's a bonus. Yeah, maybe I'll change it and then um, it leaves a bit extra space on top and I can put it like this. Oops, I'm not even filming what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, this might be it. It leaves a little bit on top and a little bit on the bottom. Yeah, I'm going green. <laughs> Go green, guys. Go green. Ah, okay. So I need something. Put some probably some fabric back here or some lace or something, something, something. Uh huh. Yeah, maybe some flowers. Will they get ripped off? Probably. I wonder if I have some cream colored ribbon. Like satin or silk or something like that. Well, guys, let me know. Do you want to be with me when I do this? Or do you just want to see it and flip through it with me when I'm finished? Because this can take, take a while. Because I change my mind like 50 times a day when I craft. So, um, especially when I craft stuff like this. Um, so, let me know if you want to... If you want to follow on the junk journal journey or if you want to see it when it's done and just flip through it and I talk about what I've done. So yeah, uh, I'm going to go for a walk now because my back doesn't want to sit anymore. 
and I'll see you next time. Maybe I'll read a bit of that book then, because that's fun. At least I think it's fun. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're you're not interested in Scandinavian folklore. I love this book, but maybe not you, maybe not for you. So yeah, that's where I'm at, and that's what's happening, and that's why I might have been a bit quiet lately. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk, and I'll finish my coffee and go for a walk. So yeah, bye bye. Happy crafting.